what's up y'all so i literally just washed my locks i was gonna share with you what i use for my locks since now i'm hitting my two-year journey dang yeah it's definitely hitting two years about to be in october so i've been going strong with my locks a lot of people ask me like what products i use on my locks so i'm kind of figuring it out myself um of kind of like what works uh, there's some products that do work, some products that don't work. So for shampoo, I use the Into the Night by Bath & Body Works. Um, it may work for you, may not work for you, but for me it works. Um, I like it. And then for conditioner, some people use conditioner on their locks, some people don't. I do. I have softer hair, um, but it stays intact, so it's not like it unravels or anything. So for my conditioner, I use the... Um, OGX brand um, they have the pride edition so I just use that one but it's just the normal the coconut oil one um, I like that one for the conditioner it works good for my hair and then I follow it up with uh, spraying it with Carol's daughter I just spray that all over my hair and actually I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because I did not um, get to do that I literally just popped right out of the um, shower of washing my locks. So yeah, I go ahead and give that a decent spray all over. And so it's a light spray. So you may think like, oh, I'm spraying too much, but it's really light. So it doesn't like, it's not like sticky or anything. So it doesn't like hold down your locks. It doesn't have buildup or anything. Um, it's just a good mist uh, to be able to hydrate your hair. Um, it's a nice leave-in conditioner. It's literally, this one is the hydrating leave-in conditioner. That's the one that I use. So then I just spray that all over my locks, get it nice and soft. And then I just rub it in a bit. And then after that, what I do, is after I'm done rubbing that in, I use the um, African Pride, the hair growth oil, and I just take, not too much, just like a little handful of that. It's like that much. I just take a handful, I try not to do too much, and I just get my tips. So I just try to get like the ends of my locks and you always want to do put product on your hair when it's wet because if it's dry it's not going to be able to um hold the product when it's dry you have to wet it first in order to, for it to be able to lock in there and so i just rub it through my hair like that because i don't like too much product in my hair so i do it straight like that and then there's this new product that i've been using um if you go follow them or go check out their page on Instagram, it's um, called the Hair Q. Sorry, I'm looking at my hair. It's the Hair Q. And I use this for my roots. And so this product is a uh, growth stimulating oil. And it smells extremely good. And it has like um, almond oil, uh, Jamaican castor oil, uh, avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba oil all the essential oils that are in there. And so all you do, it tells you to apply it to your palms, massage it into your scalp, and then you just put it throughout your scalp. And then that's it. Like, that's pretty much what I use like um, three to five times a week. It says to do it, how much does it say? Yeah, it says repeat three to uh, five times a week, but this keeps your hair hydrated enough that I really only do it like three times a week, maybe like a Monday, Wednesday, and a Saturday. So. If you guys give that a look, yeah, go follow them and check it out. They're originated out of Florida. So if you, I guess if you uh, hit them up and it also another good thing, it's a vegan product. So I thought that was really cool. So you're not putting all these different chemicals in your hair that you don't know what you're putting in your hair. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.